In this 3D Shoemaker video, I'm going to get into 3D printed mock-up shoes, sometimes known as fitting models or trial shoes, and how they can save big on time, energy, and materials. This is particularly useful for custom shoe making, but is also useful for other applications, including fully 3D printed shoes. The fitting models are available for all shoe lasts and shoes on 3dshoemaker.com, and can even be created in the 3D Shoemaker plugin for Rhino 3D. Perhaps the biggest challenge in custom shoemaking is sourcing or developing the optimal shoe last. This is because it is required very early in the shoemaking process, and so any errors at this point cascade to the final product and can result in considerable wasted time, effort, and material. Starting from precisely acquired foot measurements or data from high-tech 3D scanners can help, but even this can't take into account varying properties of the foot and personal preference. Reworks are one of the reasons why custom shoes are so expensive, with orthopedic shoes sometimes costing in the thousands. Mock-up fitting models can help address this issue by providing an opportunity for feedback early in the process. But these still require that the shoe last already have been sourced or developed, which in itself is a big part of the cost. The solution is to 3D print a mock-up fitting model before the physical shoe last is created. Of course, a 3D printed mock-up shoe won't uh, feel the same as a carefully crafted handmade pair of shoes, but it is enough of an approximation to afford an opportunity to fix issues right at the beginning of the process. 3D printable mock-up fitting shoe models are now available on 3dshoemaker.com for all shoe lasts within the ordering form. Various settings can be adjusted including the desired wall thickness and the material thickness under the ball and toe. They come as fully enclosed footwear that come up to nearly the same height as the top of the shoe last itself, but if printed with flexible TPU filament, scissors can be easily used to trim the mock-up to the design of the intended shoe. I suggest using transparent or clear TPU so that the approximate fit, including the position of the toes, can be gauged somewhat visually. In the example mock-up I'm showing here, I used Overture Transparent 95A TPU. I printed on a Bamboo Lab X1C with 15% infill at 45 degrees with supports painted on just the toe area of the sole. It's for a size 3.5 children's shoe and it took 13 hours and 184 grams of filament which costs about $5 to print per side. Not bad given the potential to save hundreds of dollars and arrive at a better fit. If after ordering and 3D printing a mock-up fitting model you find that adjustments need to be made, these can be done free of charge via the adjustments order type. Another use case for mock-up models I'd like to point out is for fully 3D printed shoes. These can now be selected for all 3D printable shoe models on 3dshoemaker.com. By first printing a minimalized mock-up model with an inexpensive filament, there is an opportunity for some savings, albeit less than with traditional shoemaking. One last thing I'd like to point out is that fitting models can now also be designed within the business edition of the 3D Shoemaker plugin for Rhino 3D. A component body needs to be built and sub D turned on in the options form. Then hit the print button, select the mock-up tab, and hit go. If you have the personal edition and want a mock-up model for something you are working on, one can be purchased as a one-off service on 3dshoemaker.com. I feel that 3D printed mock-up fitting shoe models are an exceptionally helpful example of how 3D printing can be of use in small-scale shoemaking. I'm excited to hear what all you shoemakers out there think of it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel, hitting the bell button to receive notifications of future videos. Thanks for watching.